All right. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? It is um, Thursday, July twenty third, two thousand twenty, at eight thirty five p.m. Um, if you haven't heard today, um, if you're a hockey fan, basically, um, Seattle just revealed their name and logo and jerseys, and I'm gonna explain my opinions on them. Um, I'm on the logo right now, as you can see. Um. What, what's my opinion on the logo? It's not bad. It's actually decent. I don't love it, but... And obviously you got the S for Seattle. That's cool. Um, There's the I for the Kraken and the tentacles. Because the uh, Kraken's like... like basically like a octopus or whatever. But yeah. It's not bad. I give this a... Uh, 8 out of 10. It's not bad. I just think they could use it like... It's mostly looks works better for like a alternate logo or whatever. I feel like the primary logo should be like an actual Kraken or whatever. Like here, I'll go on Google. Alright. I couldn't find a good picture of like an octopus or whatever, but yeah. Because it's basically an octopus, a Kraken or whatever. But yeah. Not saying this should be the logo. It should be look more like a, a Kraken octopus or whatever. This is a bad picture, I don't know. Why did I show this, but... I found a, another better picture, like... So, obviously, the one I just showed you, this is the primary logo, alternate, and uh, the other alternates, like secondary and word mark. Um, here's the um, secondary logo. It looks cool. There's an, That's obviously uh, an anchor, and if you look closely, that's that represents the, the Seattle Needle. Like the tower or whatever, you know what I mean. Can't think of it right now, what it's actually called, but the Seattle Kraken, obviously, not bad. Let's go to the jerseys. All right, um, yeah, here's the home jersey. Um, what's my opinion on it? Looks nice. I like the color scheme. It reminds me of like the late '90s, early 2000s uh, Vancouver Canucks jerseys, like similar to like the blue. Obviously, the baby blue is like a little darker and the red or whatever. That, here, I'll look that up. Alright, um, I'm on an NHL uniform database, um, I should have shown the, um, away logo, it's on here right now, but, yeah, it just reminds me of, like, the dark blue, the sort of, like, darker baby blue and the red. Just reminds me of it a little bit. And here's the uniforms, like, same thing, um, here's the road jersey. Not bad, I like it. Not bad at all. And um, I believe they're going to play at the Climate Pledge Arena. Ugh, I don't like that name. Their first NHL season will be on for the 2021-22 season. Um, they won't be playing this upcoming season. But I'm still looking forward to Seattle, though. But yeah. And I knew um Seattle's NHL team was going to be like a ocean creature or whatever like a sea creature or whatever because there's obviously rumors for like all oh, the, the sock eyes um whatever seattle needles but yeah but the kraken's not bad not not a fan of the name but the jersey's not bad i like it and i, I do like the logo actually but i do feel like they should actually use a real good like, looking like octopus or kraken whatever because that's basically what a Kraken is, is an octopus. But yeah. Um, it's not bad. So it's the 32nd NHL team. Which now expanding because the 31st was Vegas. The Vegas Golden Knights. Hate that team. But yeah. Um... Ugh, sorry, I haven't, sorry I'm not saying anything, but yeah, um, sorry, sorry, I'm having trouble talking, like, like I feel like I want to talk, but I don't know what the hell I want to say, but, yeah, but for Seattle, um, I really hope they don't go, like, on a, I'm not trying to be negative or whatever, but I do kind of hope, like, I'm not trying to, like, sound, like, offensive or biased or whatever, but really biased, but I just hope they don't go, like, on a big, like, expansion run like what Vegas just did. Like, the, like, their best year is their inaugural season. I hope we never see that again. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, Seattle fans, but I don't know.
But I am excited, looking forward to see the Jets play them, though, like in Seattle and Winnipeg. Hopefully someday if I get the time, I'll take a trip to Seattle and um, go see a game there. Obviously, they need a new arena because when I look, I'm going to go look at that, that arena right now. All right, uh, here's the Climate Pledge Arena. This is, a, this is old because it used to be called Key Arena or whatever. Uh, it looks ugly on the outside, to be honest. But on the inside, it actually looks kind of cool. looks like a good, it will be a good NHL-sized arena. Just like, I'm not a fan of like the Jumbotrons or whatever. What the hell these are supposed to be. Those look ugly, in my opinion. Like, get like a newer, fresh uh, scoreboard. But the arena looks nice, even though it's basketball, but... You know, they should bring the Supersonics back to Seattle, too, I agree, but... Not bad. If you're my dog barking, I'm sorry, but yeah. Last thing that Gary Bettman needs to do... The last thing Gary Bettman needs to do is bring that team back right there. The Quebec Nordiques. You know, like Quebec City, they've been waiting a long time to get their team back. Which, I'm glad they're going to Seattle, but I was really pissed when they, um... On the, the NHL chose Las Vegas over Quebec City. I'm, still kind of pisses me off today. I get why, because Vegas have more money or whatever. But come on. Like, when you look at teams like Florida, Arizona, and Carolina somewhat. Um, they came in like fill up their arenas. And the only time they do is when they're in the playoffs. You know, especially Florida. Like they're still struggling to, to draw fans today. It's ridiculous. It makes the NHL look bad. And same with the Coyotes too. You know, like in Hurricanes, all those three teams should have left a long time ago. I'm sorry, Coyotes, Panthers, and Hurricanes fans for watching this, but I don't know. What was I gonna say? Okay, I'm gonna go on a little rant here, but um, I, know, I really wish the Quebec Nordiques never left um for Colorado in the first place. Again, I get why they had to leave, but come on, 1996 and 2001 should have been Nordique Stanley Cups. Same with the uh, Hartford Whalers. They should, if they stayed, they sh it should have been a Hartford Whalers Stanley Cup. You know, it should be an Edmonton Oilers Cup, but yeah. Same with the Coyotes. They should have never left Winnipeg. Again, I get why these teams had to leave, but come on. Same with the Minnesota North Stars. They should have never left for Dallas either. But, that's good because they got the Wild back, which they got their team back called the Minnesota Wild, which is good. But North Stars are better though. But yeah. Stay strong. You know, don't give up Quebec fans. You will get your team back. But got to be happy for Seattle, though. All right. Um, well, same thing. Bring the Whalers back, too. All right. That's it for my video, everybody. Have a good rest of your day.